My video for March the 30th, 2019 is video number 3040. The title is International Tribunal into Crimes of Church and State. People often send me videos to consider. Yesterday I got a video recommended to me of a lady who reads and comments on a chat room forum but she does not read the questions she is asked, only her response is heard. Of course, that makes for periods of silence. For me, that is wasting my time and insulting my intelligence. I watched for several minutes before I shut it off and replied to the friend who recommended it. He said to look at more of her videos. She likes to talk about signs in the sky. For me, I want to pay more attention to what's happening on earth. Yes, both are important, but the crimes of church and state enforced by military and police, for me, is a, is a more important focus. In the video that was sent to me, she was knocking Robert David Steele on the premise, once CIA, always CIA. This does not allow for any possibility of, ch of a change of heart. I have watched some of the proceedings of the ongoing International Tribunal into crimes of church and state. Mr. Steele seems to preside over at least some of these. He is also aligned with Dr. Cynthia McKinney. Does once a politician, always a politician apply to her? Are we allowed to change? I certainly hope so but then I have been accused of taking too much hopium. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I do get videos sent to me uh, from time to time, actually all the time, by different uh, listeners to my daily blogs. And of course, I don't allow periods of silence because I'm not reading something and responding to something that somebody else wrote. And if I did, I would read what they wrote so that I would know what is what the response that I'm making is referring to. In any case, folks, uh, I think this lady is, is doing what she feels is her calling and I'm not knocking her or putting her down. Uh, she's doing the best she can and, and many of us are doing the best we can. But I have been watching uh, Kevin Annette, and of course, Kevin Annette was, I think, one of the founders, if not the founder of this international tribunal. And he, of course, was a, a Canadian uh, minister who realized the, the depth of the pedophilia that was occurring in the church. And uh, further investigation led him to the conclusion that this is a worldwide epidemic uh, where not just church, but polit political leaders and uh, a whole network of, of people are involved in raping and uh, murdering little children, drinking their blood and uh, as an aphrodisiac of some sort. But it's insane to me. And it should be insane to any of us, yet this is the elite establishment we're talking about. These are the people who occupy high places in churches, high places in governments, and of course, uh, the whole court system is structured on a system of fraud. Maritime law does not apply to land, and it's actually a law of pirates. Uh, whoever ha uh, has the gold uh, is the one that makes the rules, and that's a that's piracy. Uh, it's not justice. There can be no justice in the system, and so I am a I continue to watch and applaud uh, the activities of the International Tribunal into crimes of church and state because this is truth that has to come out if we are to awaken. Now, I like, I, I, I like seeing signs in the heavens. And I mean, I have people send me things and I shared some of those pictures uh, on a recent video, in fact, 
that a friend from Canada sent me. Uh, so there are things that are happening and some of the things that you see in the sky make you scratch your head. Uh, of course, Snopes, and I did some research on, on this a little bit, but Snopes is a disinfo channel. Anybody that gets their information from Snopes is buying in to the mainstream propaganda, which is built on a structure of lies. Everything that the mainstream does in our world and has been doing for a long, long time. We're talking eons, actually, but it, more recently, at least generationally, they have been lying to us because it's a game plan for them. It's about control. It's about money. It's about uh, political intrigue and in, po political and economic influence. And it's got to be exposed and humanity has to awaken. And yes, as I keep on saying, we do need help. We do need extraterrestrials or angels or God or something to step in and empower those of us that are trying to live in truth and trying to be honest. And when I say try, I, I mean we don't have all the answers. None of us do. We're trying to put the puzzle pieces together to make sense out of what seems like a very insane world run by intelligent beings that are malevolent and ignorant or purposefully ignorant. They purposefully ignore the spiritual aspects. And I'm not, when I say spiritual, again, I'm not talking about religion. All of the religions have been infiltrated. It's church and state is the part of the control grid. And of course, money is what drives them both. Because the people that are in, at the top are the ones that generally get financed. Now, Robert David Steele is CIA. He admits that. And he's also trying to do some really good things. So this idea of knocking him because he puts his finger over his mouth when he's listening to and, and deciding how to comment on what's being said from the other side in a, in a discussion, that's not a sign that he's malevolent or or trying to make things up and sending sending special signals because of his hand gestures and and stuff like that some of the stuff is so ridiculous yeah there are hand signs that may have meaning and she pointed some of these out in the video that was sent to me nevertheless <clears throat> there is an awakening happening, and more and more people do seem to be getting truth. I just wish that more of my friends who live in the apartments with me would access the, com the computers. Many of them don't even have computers, and stop watching the TV, because the TV is almost all brainwashing stuff. Now, that's it. That, I'm sure that's not an absolute, nothing is. But there's so much disinformation, not just with Snopes, but with C CNN, CBS, NBC, ABC, all of the mainstream channels, even Fox, yes. All of these are presenting a lot of lies and a little bit of truth. Fox seems to be the one that's supposed to be fair and balanced, is it? 100% true? Of course not. Do they present some truth? I think so, but I don't watch them regularly unless somebody sends me a video from Fox that's on the internet, and that's the only time I would get to watch them. Anyway, folks, we need to applaud what's happening with this international tribunal, and we need to become aware that there are many crimes of church and state that are being committed on the most innocent of our children. Thank you for listening and namaste.